Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is your Maker2199, bring you guys another commentary. Well this isn't much of a commentary, it's going to be a weapons review. Now I'm going to be reviewing an assault rifle for this one, it's the K-Bar 32. We are playing in Terminal here. Terminal is a great map, it's a remake and it's been around Call of Duty for many years. I don't really recall when it started or any of that but I do remember because I started playing Call of Duty back in Modern Warfare 3. I remember it was a DLC map and it was a remastered version of a past Call of Duty and it's a great map. I got a pretty decent score here. This is my second 40 bomb. Unfortunately the first one I don't have recorded. I wasn't recorded when I dropped it. That one was almost a 50 bomb. But yeah, it's unfortunately it's unfortunate that I wasn't able to record that and post it for you guys. But this is a pretty good gameplay here. Using an assault rifle before we get into the review, you're gonna notice that I'm taking the role that I should as an assault player. I'm keeping my kills, most of them, between mid-range to a little bit closer, maybe just a little bit further. But I'm not trying to long-range or snipe anyone. Um, I'm trying to keep them at a distance where I'm most effective and make them play my game. That's the way that I'm able to play better and um, get better scores. Now another thing to keep in mind is that most of these weapons that I'm reviewing, I don't have any upgrades or any really like fancy attachments except this one because this happens to be my favorite assault rifle at the moment. With that being said, I have not unlocked the last assaults so far so I am unable to speak on that. So up to now this is the best one and my favorite assault rifle for now. This is the gun that I've been able to get the best um, streaks and the best scores as well. Um, so it's a pretty good weapon now. Let me start with the bad parts of the weapon first. And um, this is my second time <laughs> recording this video because I re decided to re-record it because the first one wasn't as informative as I was hoping it would be. It was a bit more... it was a little bit weird. It, went off on a tangent and I really do dislike that but let's start with the bad. The bad of this weapon is that it doesn't have enough power or it doesn't have the power that I would like it to have. Now I have upgraded it a little bit like I said and that's only because it's my favorite weapon. Um, this is the only weapon I believe I've upgraded, other weapons are untouched so the review will be fairly accurate and I do find that that upgrade helped me out just a tad. The upgrades are not super helpful, any player with skill will be able to take you out anytime and, um, and that is just the way that it should be I believe. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, I, it would be stupid if they would be overpowered with upgrades because people would be great because of updates not because of skill. But yeah, um, these upgrades I don't feel like it's adding too much more to the weapon and making it an unfair you know, thing to use or to review. Like I don't feel like I have to upgrade other weapons to be able to review them. This weapon does lack a little bit of power. That's the thing that I hate um, most. Besides that, and it has a pretty small magazine, you know, 30 shots for me that is insufficient. Especially when you're going up against multiple players at the same time. You do need that extra power or extra ammo, one or the other. This weapon lacks both in my opinion. It doesn't have enough ammo, like if you're gonna make a weapon and not make it powerful enough, add a little bit more ammo to it. This can be fixed with attachments. I will not be reviewing attachments because I feel that's more of a player thing. Um, and I don't want to go into stats either because I feel that people get cut up on stats and they use a weapon because statistically it should be better on paper, but it really isn't for you. You need to play with the weapon that is catered for your game style. I've said this in the past and it's so true. Use the weapon that works best for your game style. Don't try to use a weapon that works better for another YouTuber or statistically better or whatever on paper. Use the weapon that works best for you. And um, that's the biggest tip and the best thing that I can give you guys in order to increase your score. Um, map, is a map awareness like you can see there, you know, just being aware of the map and surroundings is going to be extremely helpful and I got saved and then I got killed <laughs> as I'm saying about being aware but yeah um, 
And there's some things that you cannot change, I guess. Some people are just sneaky. <laughs> but yeah, um, do keep in mind that we... So, with this being said, you know, let's continue with now with the good, you know. The good about this weapon is that it's it, it melts people pretty good. The um, It doesn't have a lot of recoil, which is really good, I found this far in the... Um, being able just to keep it on center on the chest and then move it up to the head and stuff like that is fairly easy to do with this weapon um, because there isn't much recoil it's really controllable and that's like the biggest plus for me I do tend to be a bit accurate and a bit inaccurate and most of my most of the time when I'm inaccurate is due to recoil I'm sure most of you guys will feel the same and that is just something to keep in mind um, because of the low recoil, you are going to be better able to get some kills and use your aim as an advantage and um, take out other players that are not as skillful as you. Um, do keep in mind that I'm worried. I'm using a little, a little red dot here because I am able to use iron sights, and the iron sights on this weapon are pretty good. But I like the red dot a lot better. That's the way that I got used to playing Call of Duty. And I usually put a red dot on almost every single weapon. Um, I do use them without red dots. I'm pretty sure I should have some footage on my channel by now of me not using a red dot and still doing good. But the red dot just helps you get that little bit extra I get accuracy. So, and I do feel that this weapon, for me, in my case, it does need it. And usually for most of the weapons that I use, I feel that's the case for me. So a red dot, you know, slap on a red dot if you guys need that little extra help. It will help you get um, extra kills. Now the hip fire, as I, you guys saw there, is not as powerful as I would like as well, you know. And I, I get the fact that it's not an SMG or whatever. But uh, it, I want it to be a little bit more powerful. I, found my, I find myself sometimes in those sort of scenarios and I'm unable to get the kill the weapon with the SMG or whatever that's the range of the weapon so if they're accurate they're gonna be able to take me out a lot faster and I wish I would have just a little bit more power on this weapon other than that it's plenty of powerful to take people out it, ta it melts people in the same amount of shots basically it doesn't really like distance doesn't really affect this weapon that much whether it's medium range or you know closer range, it's it takes the same amount of shots. That's what I've noticed. It's around the same area, you know, and uh, it's just about you being accurate, I guess. And I was pretty, I was a bit accurate on this game. You know, I'm not the most accurate player, but this weapon, a weapon like this, definitely helps. You know, if you suffer from your accuracy and all of that, having a weapon like this will help you tune your accuracy and all of that, you know, fine tune your skills and all of that to be able to get, you know, the better, better gameplays, better scores, you know, but at the end of the day, it's about having fun. If you guys do not enjoy assaults, don't use them, you know, if you're not an assault player, then this video may not be for you. Um, use what you guys enjoy using, you know, if you guys enjoy trolling people, that's your thing, you know, go ahead and just do whatever you do, you know, have fun. That's what the game's all about, you know, at the end of the day. So yeah, um, another thing that I, I like a lot about this weapon is just, I don't know, it's it's super, like it doesn't hold me back when I'm ready. I find that I run a little bit, I don't know if it's just me, but when you use an LMG, your character's a little bit slower and clunkier. When you use an SMG, your character's a little bit faster and it doesn't weigh as much. When you switch to a pistol, your character does get slightly faster. That's usually why you see YouTubers changing from pistol, whatever they're using, to a pistol at the beginning of a match to run faster to a location. It just makes it slightly faster. And, um, yeah. This weapon doesn't, I don't feel this weapon holding me back when I'm moving. You know, I feel that I move very fluidly throughout the map, you know. And that is another great thing, you know, I don't feel like I'm being held back by any instance. I feel like I could drop a really good KD without having to use any perks or attachment with this weapon as well. And that's a great thing, you know. For me, this weapon so far gets a 10 out of a 10 because it's the weapon that I've been loving most. It's not the one that I've been using most, 
Um, I snipe a lot more than I should. I've said that in a few videos, but it's true. Most of the time I'll be sniping and I'm, I'm not the best sniper. I'm pretty average or maybe even below average when it comes to sniping. I am able to get a few clips here and there. But yeah, um, I probably should be using this weapon more if I want to get, you know, better clips for YouTube. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, this this was a pretty good KD, you know, and hopefully you guys did find this helpful. Not too many stats, not none of that crap, you know. Find a weapon that works for you. Find the range, find whatever you need to find, you know. And hopefully you guys will have a better time playing the game, you know. Better scores and all of that. And I hope to see you on the next review. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. And like, sub, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.